Unraveling the Threads, Post-Structuralism and Deconstruction in English Literature. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we'll be diving deep into an intriguing area of literary criticism and theory, post-structuralism and deconstruction. These might seem like big words, but don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll have a good grasp on what they mean and why they're so important in the realm of English literature. Post-structuralism is a theoretical framework that arose in the 20th century, challenging some of the foundational concepts of structuralism. While structuralism believes in a fixed meaning in texts and society, post-structuralism asserts that meanings are not stable or fixed. Instead, they're constructed and can be deconstructed. It's like looking at a beautiful painting. Structuralism would claim there's a clear message or essence in that painting, while post-structuralism would say that the meaning changes based on who's looking at it, from which angle, and in which context. Deconstruction is a method of literary analysis developed by the French philosopher Jacques Derrida. It's rooted in post-structuralist thought. This method involves unpacking and dissecting a text to reveal its multiple meanings and contradictions. Imagine you have a layered cake. Deconstruction is like slicing the cake to see all the different layers, flavors, and textures inside, instead of just judging the cake by its frosting. Both post-structuralism and deconstruction play crucial roles in challenging traditional notions of meaning in literature. They allow for a richer, more nuanced understanding of texts. For writers, it opens up a world of creative freedom. For readers and critics, it provides tools to interpret and engage with texts in new and exciting ways. Think of it as unlocking a new level in a video game. It offers new challenges and rewards. 1. Signifier and Signified These are terms borrowed from structuralism. The signifier is the word or symbol, while the signified is the concept it represents. Post-structuralists argue that the relationship between the two is not stable. 2. Binary Oppositions These are pairs of contrasting concepts, like good, evil, or man, woman. Deconstruction often examines and deconstructs these binaries to show that they're not as fixed or clear-cut as they might seem. 3. Difference, a term coined by Derrida. It plays with the French words for differ and defer, suggesting that meaning is always in flux and can never be fully pinned down. We've just scratched the surface of post-structuralism and deconstruction, but hopefully, this video has illuminated some of its key concepts for you. As with all literary theories, the true magic happens when you apply them to your readings. So the next time you pick up a novel or poem, try looking at it through this new lens. Happy reading and happy deconstructing!